Hi everybody, Cam here. How you doing? Here we are for another tip of the week. So what's this tip of the week about? We have to wait a second because I just want to thank everybody who's been subscribing and also for watching the videos and liking the videos even. And it's absolutely fabulous. I'm over the 1,100 mark in subscriptions and I'm massively blown away. Um, what do I say apart from thank you so much? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you! And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It won't cost you anything. And if you'd like to like or leave a comment, please do as well. Bad or good, I love them all and love you too. Anyway, so what are we doing? Well, we're doing a base building tip today and we are doing zombie pathing. So you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I know this and uh, it might be a good refresher for you. But if you don't know about zombie pathing, this might be the tip for you in base building. Without further ado, let's have a look. So what is zombie pathing? Well, basically, the zombies will go the easiest way they can to get to you. So if there's obstacles in the way, they're going to go through the least resistant obstacles to get to you. So as you can see, I've got a base here. It's made of wood. Now, the wood itself has got 500 hit points, which isn't a massive amount. So if I've got 500 hit point piece of wood and I've got a door that's only 250, and I put down a zombie, the zombie's going to go through the door to get to me. So if I upgrade the door and I'm upgrading it to 7,500 hit points. Same kind of zombie is going to go through the wall. And that is zombie pathing. Path of least resistance. So I'm going to upgrade the base itself to steel because steel has got a hardness of 10,000 hit points. So by rights, they should go through the door now. So how can we use this information? Well, instead of having them banging down your door and getting to you and killing you, you can set an easier path for them. So a path that's got less resistance. So if you look at episode three on Death Wish, you can see the pathing wasn't quite right and the zombies were just going crazy and trying to break through the building. Now, if you look at the latest one, which is episode six, pathing is nuts, but it's still the least resistance. And at nightmare speed, it gives me time to kill them. So when you go to build your base, make a path to you that works for you. With this path here, I could put traps along it. I could do all sorts of nasty things. I could even put little blocks in the way so if ferals are on nightmare speed, they can't get to me really quick. Well, there we have it. Very basic, I know, but it's a good tip as well. If you want any more base building tips, I'm more than happy to do it. Just let me know in the comments and I'll add a few of these every now and then. Thanks very much for watching, have a fabulous day and happy Halloween.